everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into Echo's Journey. I am Echo and I'm going to give you the top 10 tips of how to prepare for your travels. Um, tip number one, the most important thing that you need to do is call your bank or your credit card companies. You need to let them know the days that you're going to travel and that you want to be able to access your debit card or your credit card while you're traveling. If you don't do this, sometimes it will have an alert and it will be blocked. You do not want to get trapped someplace without money. <laughs> Tip number two. Before you leave, get a small amount of cash in U.S. dollars or whatever your local currency is so that when you arrive at the airport at your destination, you can get it changed. Just a small amount because once you're there, you want to use your credit card as much as possible um, or your debit card as much as possible. They'll give you a better exchange rate than if you do so at the bank's or different exchange rate booths. Tip number three, before you leave to travel, especially abroad, make sure you call your cell phone company. Let them know that you would like an international data package. If you really need to make phone calls and text, then you can add that package, but it's kind of unnecessary because there's so many apps now. You can use Skype, Viber, WhatsApp, and that will allow you to send text messages, you can use FaceTime and Skype and see each other. Um, so there's a variety of ways that you can get around getting the voice and the text plan. So really the data is the most important. And make sure they're not putting you on a minute plan. You want something where you're saving for using a certain amount of gigabytes. Tip number four, make sure you share your plans with loved ones. Um, so if you have like a spouse, best friend, mom, whoever, let them know when your flights are, if you'll be connecting, where you'll be going, who you'll be staying with, all that is very important. Tip number five, make sure you pack an outlet adapter if you're going to some place where the outlets or the electrical currency will be different. Here is mine, I have a universal one. So if I'm traveling to Europe or Australia, Asia, this will work and I just plug mine into this, plug this part into the wall, and then it works. You also need to make sure you are carrying your chargers for your cell phones and cameras. You do not want to lose those or not have them available for you. Tip number six. When you're flying internationally, you want to make sure you check your passport to make sure it is not expired. Many countries require that you have six months on your passport um, from your departure date from their country. This is especially in Europe. So you never want to travel with less than six months on your passport. Also, you need to print out your itinerary <laughs> and um, your address of where you'll be staying one time. <laughs> Excuse me, Zane is filming this and he is so silly. <sighs> anyway, so one time I was traveling, I believe, to Bermuda and I had the address, uh, my friend's address in my phone, but I couldn't access it. So I had was pulled and detained into one of the rooms until they could help me get this address. It was a terrible ordeal. Um, so I learned the very good lesson to make sure I had it written out someplace and not to rely on it being in my cell phone, in my Facebook chat, that's where it was. So make sure you have that written out. Um, also print out your tickets or any of that information. Tip number seven. This is very, very important. If you're traveling to a tropical destination where like malaria is a danger, make sure you get malaria pills. Um, if they have other immunizations that they recommend, make sure you get those. And usually you need to do that at least six weeks before your trip. So that will be one of the first things that you do on this list. Uh, pack, uh, tip number eight, make sure you pack for the right weather. If you have any medication that you need apart from the malaria, if you have um, asthma and you need your inhaler, if you have allergies, like for me, I always have to pack um, Allergy medicine for hay fever, make sure you have those. If you have any vitamins that are important to you, make sure you pack those. Um, tip number nine, make sure you clean your house before you leave or pay your bills. This is one of my pet peeves. When I'm away for a long period of time, I want to come home to a clean house. I hate coming home and it looks like someone ransacked my house, but they didn't. It was just me leaving in a rush and I left the house messy. You also want to pay those bills because you don't want to come home and then your lights don't come on and you don't have any gas to cook. So make sure you do that. You may also... I'm going to change the AC setting, things like that, like uh, money-saving tips while you're gone. And our very last tip, um, make sure that you, make sure that the country that you're visiting to does not have an entrance or exit fee. So, 
You don't want to go someplace like, for instance, a lot of the South American countries right now, uh, they have a visa fee of like $185 that you pay at the airport. Um, and if you don't budget for that, $185, especially per person, since I travel with the family for three or four of us, that is way too much money. That may take all of our money and then we're left in the country with nothing. And we don't want that to happen, right? Um, and then some countries, they have an exit fee, $45, so you need to make sure you know about that. Sometimes it is included in your plane ticket, but not always. Um, and you can check all that information on the U.S. Department of State website if you're a U.S. citizen. Um, I'm sure every country has an equivalent to it, so you want to make sure because the rules vary from nationality to nationality. Well, I do want to thank you for uh, tuning in to Echo's Journey. Once again, I'm Echo. And hopefully you'll be joining me on some of my trips on YouTube. Thanks. Bye.